Hey hi everyone, very warm afternoon to everyone and welcome back again to the specialized automation. So today in this video we will be discussing about how we can run our test or any test in parallel way directly in any docker container okay. So for that we will be using the selenium standalone. So let's get started. So let's talk about the agenda for today. We'll be discussing, we'll be seeing what is Selenium standalone and how we can utilize it. Then we'll be seeing how we can setting up the images and VNC viewer to see the executions running at the container. Then setting up the container, then run our Selenium script directly in parallel way in the container. Okay. So first of all, what is Selenium standalone? Okay. So as we already know, if you want to use Docker container to run your Selenium script, you need to have to set up the grid and hub. And also according to the Firefox or Chrome node, you need to set up. Okay. For Selenium standalone means it's simply uh, independent among everything. Okay. You do not have to set your web driver or grid node configuration. You do not have to set up. Just right directly you set up this standalone server. You provide the link to your test and your, you will be able to run your test at this designated URL. Okay. So let me take you to a very important URL that will be helpful. Okay, so this is the must go to URL that github.com selenium hq docker selenium. It listed all the information that will be needed in throughout our video. So selenium standalone for that we have a four variant that we can utilize. One is for selenium standalone with chrome installed, selenium standalone with firefox installed. And if you want to see the execution of the runtime, what is happening in the container. So we can run our VNC server, we can set up the VNC server to view the result or to view the uh, what is going on okay so for that selenium, selenium standalone chrome debug and standalone firefox debug has been there okay so uh, this four you need to install uh, the next what we are talking that if you want to see the result you have to set up one uh, vnc server so if you are using uh, windows you can simply install the real vnc uh, let me show you can also See, real VNC you can directly install and you need to place the VNC path in a binary. Okay. So for that simply what you can do, you can simply install this uh, real VNC from your Google. For my case, I have already installed it showing you. This is a real VNC. So it will come to, it will, there will be two options, a VNC server and VNC viewer. So you have to click on the, after installing VNC server, currently my VNC server is running with my ID. Okay. Once VNC server is running, now client can see the result, of what is happening in the container. Okay, so um, for VNC viewer, uh, whatever the happening, what the container will create, we are able to see it. Uh, we'll cover it later. Let's talk about uh, the next agenda. See, so for that we need to install this one uh, for standalone. We need to have our system. Selenium standalone, Chrome, Firefox, and Selenium standalone, Chrome, and Firefox debug. Okay, so we need to install that images, or we need to in our Docker. So if you have simply login ID for your Docker Hub, go simply go to your Docker Hub. I have already logged in with my ID. Simply you can search with that Selenium Chrome debug. So you will get the options selenium standalone chrome debug and docker pull command has already been given just copied it uh, currently i'm using this docker versions i want to uh, install uh, download this my to my docker okay so this will copy it really. so this one is already installed in my system so it's showing this image is up to date and for selenium selenium chrome debug latest okay so we need to install it again let me show all my images that i have currently so currently we have standalone firefox for 3.1 for 159 there's a selenium version dominium and for latest all these uh, images that i have uh, already installed in my system okay so in case if you do not have installed you can simply go to the app and pull necessary search with this uh, container whatever you want 
and it's pull this uh, copy this command and simply test it and run it okay this will be installed next part is how we can run how we can uh, after installing the images we need to create the container okay so first we have to navigate to this selenium hq docker selenium github page so this page is listed all the information regarding uh, the node standalone and node and standalone on debug so in this video we are going to discuss about the selenium standalone chrome and firefox and also the debug option how we can use the vnc server to view it okay so this one like selenium standalone chrome and firefox let me show you the debugging part so how we can configure this it's already already listed make sure while you are using it uh, 4444 is the default port and it can be utilized only once at a time okay so uh if you are using standalone as i have already told you do not have to use any a uh, setup any grid you can directly run your test in the remote container remote machine or remote machine container in docker container okay so let me i have already copied this one so in my notepad so for standalone firefox debug using the vnc i am using the port 4444 and the vnc viewer port is 5901 to view it and for chrome i am using 4545 and 5900 is for vnc viewer port okay so that we can see it and rest of the things uh, will uh, tell you later so first let me show you how we can do it so we have two options either you can do it via powershell or we can do via the command prompt okay so uh, powershell is my favorite and if you want to use command prompt you can also use just you have to set this docker uh, home environment in the environment variables so that it also we can use the uh, command prompt the same thing we will do let me proceed with this uh, powershell one as of now so this is the version currently i'm using api version 1.39 you can also update and use the latest version and those all the images currently installed i'm going to use selenium standalone firefox debug and chrome debug okay debugging for vnc okay so let me find if the internet process is running so currently there is no content is running so command simply docker ps hyphen a means to list all the result of running container so uh, let me just run this one this command so on the port 4444 and the vnc viewer port 5901 i'm running my standalone firefox so uh, it's uh, done successfully similarly for for standalone chrome using the driver port as 4545 and vnc port 5900 okay so two container has been created successfully and if we now search it and load in the google similarly like selenium grid we will be able to see that the page is getting loaded uh, this is simply my uh, provider with this system ip 192.168.0.104 is my ip uh, you can also provide 127.0.0.1 okay this is the localhost ip that's it okay and talking about this part why we use it this is for better memory utilizations okay let me show you yeah so we can see why we use the flag to use the host shared memory okay so better memory utilizations in the container we will be using this one okay that's it now let's go back to the partial i'll be running to see all the how the container is running this two container has been created it's running we can see the port also okay next part let me configure in the vnc viewer okay so this is my local ip then following the port number password is secret always okay it's already given in this github page so 5900 this is a firefox for this firefox this already uh, loaded the container in vnc viewer same for we'll do for 5901 to view it the chrome okay password is secret click on okay okay so this two linux container now currently i will uh, i'm able to see you can also scale it according to your choice you can full screen it 
I'm just scaling it properly so that we can run the result at the both uh, container because uh, I'm going to run my uh, script in parallel okay okay uh, this is a sample program I've written I'm just simply going to the YouTube searching my uh, searching with specialized automation and click on the search button that's it so specialized automation channel is my channel it is informing is already having lots of information about this automation you can also refer to that I'm uh, talking about this class Google search Chrome uh, we are providing the desired capabilities for Chrome versions and the web driver that you are I'm providing okay this is just for standalone we can directly execute it it's four five four five as I have already told that at a time only one port can be utilized so we cannot simply provide 4444 also in Firefox we are providing 4444 uh, this is just simple like uh, searching with navigations and um, that's for Firefox so desired capabilities for Firefox has been set platform is the Linux container we are using and the URL providing for 4444 allowing it my local IP okay so toward the same class and I want to run it as a parallel okay as per your choice you can run it sequentially or you can run a single so let me show you so these two class parallel mode for classes uh, let me just execute it chrome is always a bit faster in docker also okay so chrome is getting loaded in the docker uh, we can see that uh, in the vnc we are with port 5900 firefox okay, firefox is also loaded in the 5900 when you can able to see so both are navigating to this youtube and searching with the channel specialized automation okay so it's search successfully and it will end the test that's it firefox it's still uh, in process okay so both test has been uh, completed successfully okay running test in docker there's a two test firefox and chrome okay that will be youtube search not google search that class method name okay that's it so uh, we have seen that how we can run our parallel test or we can uh, simply directly run our test in the remote container okay and if you want to see the logs for every container you can simply use docker log then space hyphen f providing the container id it's also listed in the uh, github page okay that link that i provided already see so docker logs a container id providing let me provide for this chrome container id for the first container okay okay so see uh, we can also see the details logs similarly if you want to check the another logs simply press control and break uh, to exit and provide the logs for the next container so this is how we can also see the log and execute our test script uh, in uh, using the standalone chrome debug or standalone firefox debug in the docker container okay so that's it today guys uh, if you have any questions please do let me know and please do not forget to support and subscribe my channel so have a good day everyone bye bye